Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to a brand new video. This is a level 30 to 50 guide for Visteria. I'll be showing you how to get from level 30 to 50, and I'll also be showing you all the quests and stuff you have to do from level 30 to 50. This is only a level 30 to 50 guide, so make sure to watch my previous guides, which are a level 1 to 10 guide, and a level 10 to 30 guide. I will leave their links in the description below. Also, make sure to watch this video all the way through so you don't miss anything important. And make sure to subscribe because that helps out my channel a lot. Anyways, without wasting any more of your time, let's get to the video. Okay, so right now you want to be at Port Fidelio. If you do not know where Port Fidelio is, make sure to watch my previous videos because I do cover where Port Fidelio is in my previous videos. Right now we have to go to Forsaken Isle, and in order to go to Forsaken Isle, we have to take the boat there. So here's how you get to the boat. Just go where I go. Okay, so in order to board the boat, you need to buy a ticket. So a ticket costs 100s, and you buy it from this guy over here. So just buy a ticket from him before you get to the boat. Okay, so the boat should be right here. It comes every once in a while, so just wait here until the boat comes. Okay, so once the boat is here, just board it, and uh, stay on it until it departs. Okay, so here it is. It has departed, and you're on your way to Forsaken Isles. Do not jump off the boat, because if you jump off the boat, it will, it will take you to Shiprock Bottom. And that's not where you want to go, and you'll have wasted your ticket. So please do not jump off the boat. Okay, so here we are at Forsaken Isles. So now just go where I go. So there's a shop over here, by the way. You could, like, buy uh, supplies such as uh, po mana potions and health potions. Now let's go. Let's get to the grinding place. So just go, go where I go. So over here is the grinding place, you're going to be grinding here until you get to level 40. So while you're grinding here, you want to try to get Moko and Tua stuff, such as Moko Mall, Moko Club, uh, Tua Bow, Tua Dagger, and Tua Shield, and any other uh, Moko or Tua stuff here. Oh yeah, also the Moglos and Moglocos drop masks. Uh, they drop two different kinds of masks. They drop the Moglo mask and the Mogloco mask. Those are uh, really expensive, so make sure to be grinding for those while you're here. Oh yeah, and there's a boss fight here. The boss is called the Moko Tua boss. He spawns every time uh, 2,000 um, Moglos are killed. So you want to be killing lots of Moglos and Moglocos here. Because the more you kill, the faster the boss spawns. And the boss gives some incredible loot. Uh, so here's some gameplay of me uh, fighting the boss. Okay, so once you reach level 40, just go here to the docks and just wait for the boat and then take it back to Port Fidelio. Okay, so now once you're out of Forsaken Isle, go to Scallop Shores and go to the Hunter Outpost. And then just go up here and this should be the entrance to the gauntlet. Now to do the gauntlet, um, I'm not going to cover it in this video, but I did a separate video where I did the gauntlet. I'll leave the link in the description below. If I don't, please remind me in the comment section. Okay, well, the basics of this is you just need to be in a party of two or more, and then uh, talk to this guy over here and start the gauntlet. So the gauntlet is a bridge, and you have to get past all these bandits and um, break the gates. Once you have done that, you basically uh, beat the gauntlet. Okay, and then once you beat the gauntlet, that will unlock the portal to the Whispering Dune. Okay, so we just beat the gauntlet, and now this should take us to this place here. This place is called the Gauntlet Hunter Occupied. Basically, it's like the gauntlet, but like, all the bandits are gone. And there's a shop over here, and here's the portal to Whispering Doom. So now, uh, to start the other next quest, just go where I go. Okay, so here we are in the Whispering Dunes. Now just go where I go. So once you get here, pick up this note over here. And now go back to the Gauntlet Hunter Occupied. Okay, once you're back at Gauntlet Hunter Occupied, go to this guy over here and start his quest. Okay, so for this quest, we have to find the archaeologist's son. So uh, to find him, he, his son left two notes. So just go where I go to find the notes. Okay, so here's the first note, just go up to it and press C to pick it up. And now just go where I go again.
Okay, here's the last note. Just press C to pick it up, and again, go where I go. Okay, so once you get to this uh, palace here, all you want to do is go to these panels and press C and until they're adjusted so that the light reflects onto the next panel. And then go to the next panel and do the same until it makes a perfect uh, square. And then once uh, it has made a perfect square, it should the light should go on the middle like this. And then just go here and then go in this uh, door over here. And then there should be this one bandit here, just kill him and move on. Okay, once you get to this room, keep talking to this guy. Okay, now you could choose from one of these pots. You could uh, choose either a wizard, hunter, or a warrior weapon. So you have to choose this gray pot over here, this like uh, cracked one over here, the small one, which I will press. Okay, once you choose it, you could either, either choose uh, Vestra's Ex Excavator, which is a sword, Tyrol's Talon, which is a dagger for hunters, or um, Astrologist Scepter, which is for mages. I'm a warrior, so I'm going to choose Vestra's Excavator. So yeah, just uh, choose whichever uh, weapon you want. And there we go, we got uh, our weapon. Also, make sure to choose this pot over here. Because if you don't, you, it will kill you. So make sure to ch uh, choose this one. Okay, now go back to this guy and complete his quest. Okay, now for our last quest in the game, we have to do the Sun Shard quest. So the Sun Shard quest is in the village in the Whispering Dunes. So here's how you get there. Just go where I go. Okay, so now all you have to do is go to this guy over here in the village and uh, talk to him and start his quest. So for his quest, you need to find all six sun shards. They're spread out all over the Whispering Dunes map. So here's where the first one is going to be. Um, this is the Whispering Dunes map, and uh, the sun shard we're going to get first is the one where the arrow is pointing. So it's going to be over here. Okay, now just go where I go. Here's the first sun shard, so just press C to pick it up. The second shard is over here, so just go where I go. Okay, now you have to do a bit of parkour over here. And now just press C to pick up the sun shard. The third one is over here, just go where I go to get it. And now just press C to pick up the sun shard. Okay, and now the fourth one, in my opinion, is the second hardest. So it's over here on the map. Uh, just go where I go to get it. Okay, the reason I said this one's the second hardest is because of the parkour uh, part over here. Do not fall because you're, you're gonna have to start all over again from the bottom of the mountain if you fall from the parkour part. So, I know I sped the video up, but um, I, did it, I actually did this really slowly because um, you better uh, take your time on this so you don't fall. Yep, so make sure to be safe over here. And now just press C to pick up the sun shard. 
The fifth one is in the worm pit and it's the hardest because of the parkour. So just go where I go to get the fifth shard. This one is the hardest, it took me lots of tries to do it. Anyways, once you've done it, press C to pick up the sun shard. Okay, so the next one is over here in Cacti Grove. This one is not really that hard, there's a bit of parkour. Anyways, to go to Cacti Grove and get the last sun shard, just go where I go. Okay, so here's the parkour part on Cacti Grove. Um, please go the route I went, unless you're a hunter and can double jump. But this route is the easiest for mages or warriors. And then simply press C again once you reach the sun shard. Okay, and that is pretty much it for the sun shard quest. We got all six um, shards. Now go back to this guy over here and uh, complete his quest. And now he's gonna offer you um, a list of weapons. Just pick whichever you want to pick, but I chose um, the Sunblade because I'm a warrior, so I need a sword. Oh yeah, and he gives you a vest called Portable Water. It's pretty much useless now because um, stamina doesn't drain in dunes. But back in the days um, in the Whispering Dunes, stamina used to drain when you're out in the sun. Uh, so yeah, I just want to let you guys know that. And then there's this shop here that opens up once you finish uh, the quest. There's some pretty good uh, mage armor and weapons, so make sure to check that out too. And before you leave the dunes, make sure to fight the mini bosses, such as um, Azaria the Blood Crazed, uh, Akatufiti the, wa the Watcher, um, Scarab, and um, Sarkasis. So make sure to um, kill these guys because they give some really good loot. Okay, so now you want to go to the pit, so here's how you get to the pit from the sewers. So just go where I go. Now there's a little maze here, so make sure to take the route I take. Okay, so here's the pit. I'm not going to be telling you a lot about the pit because this isn't a pit guide. This is just a level uh, 30 to 50 guide. So here's the main grinding place. There's slimes here. Also, there's a boss called Possum the Devourer. He drops some really good loot. So the loot you're gonna be looking for is um, the incisor, which is dropped by pit ratties, um, skinned ratty hat, which is also dropped by pit ratties, and you'll wanna um, look for lots of slime drops, such as a uh, slime staff, scrap sword, um, broken bottle, and so on. But um, the main things you'll be looking for are the end game stuff, such as forgotten axe, um, forgotten, forgotten staff. Forgotten Helmet, and Fallen Blade, and um, Skinned Ratty Hat, and Incisor. Also, uh, you would want to be grinding the slimes, because they're the ones that give the most XP. Also, uh, just grind here until you get to level 50. So once you get to level 50, you should um, try to get best endgame gear for your subclass or class. Also, you should try scrolling, because that could improve your weapons up, damage, or stats, or abilities. And now, since you're at level 50 and have no more quests to do, you could also like um, do the long quests, which I didn't cover such as the fishing quest or the the scarecrow killing quest. What you can also try to do once you get to level 50 is actually try some PvP and Colosseum. Now I haven't done a PvP video yet, but um I will make one soon. Also if you wanna see how to get a gold tier really safely, make sure to watch uh, my other video on how to get a gold tier. I'll leave the link in the description. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I think that'll be all for the video. So anyways, um 
Make sure to tell me what you want to see next in the comment section. Like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. And I really worked hard and long on this video, so I, so I would really enjoy it if you were to subscribe. And it's been an epic, amazing journey getting from level 1 to 50. I hope you have learned something from watching my guides. Anyways, guys, peace out. <coughs>